Okay, guys, I want to share something with you a little, little bit more on a personal note. I'm not going to mention any names. Um, this individual has given me, I guess, um, the opportunity to discuss this, okay? But anyways, um, I'm going to give you a backstory, okay? And this may relate to a lot of you out there that are either starting fresh and wanting to get it, wanting to start trading um, or and want to turn this into a business or a, a trading career. First off, let me um, give, you know, let you guys know, a little disclaimer. Um, trading is not for everyone, all right? Um, we all have, or could have hopes and dreams of wanting to do something similar to what someone else is doing. And yes, I have the same mindset uh, when it comes to things that I feel that if someone else can do it, I can do it just as well, right? That is true. But we all are not designed to do everything that other people are pretty much designed to do. So, you know, I, I take that into consideration as well. But let me state this, okay? I, I had someone that I personally knew um, that was very interested in starting to trade. Um, they did have the capital for one to be able to start, you know, because they put money away. And I talk about that in some of my videos, you know, um, when you truly want to start this career or this path or this journey into to get into, into trading, regardless of the market, um, you need to exercise a, um, you know, a, a real good plan, put it in place and stick by it religiously as far as putting money away. All right. And I'm not just talking about putting the money away into your family saving account, but placing money into a, another individual account that's just strictly geared for you to be able to build so that you can fund yourself when it's time to start trading. Okay. And I'm not saying just full fledged jump into it. And this individual had done so they put money away and, um, you know, they were wanting to get into the markets. Yes. The futures. Okay. Um, they had done like most of us do scour the internet, watch tons of videos, read books, try their best to educate themselves. Correct. All right. Um, and at this time I didn't really know that no other person and nor did I know what they were, you know, um, interested into trading. Right. Um, I kind of came across this person and we got to talking by means of through someone else and um, found out that, it, that they had actually, you know, kind of, well, did move away from trading because of some things they experienced. Okay. So, uh, but anyways, uh, now that I do know this person and I am um, at liberty to speak on, not say their behalf, but to tell the backstory. So they had a good paying job, right? All right. And like most of us, we get burnt out over time. I want a, a kind of a, a change in path of career, you know, typically 20, 25 years, maybe after we, well, I'm not gonna say maybe not even that long. It could be 10 years. Just depends on the person. Maybe it's something that, you, you know, professional wise or job wise, you just, after a couple of years, maybe you get burnt out. Maybe it's just, you just find out that you don't have any passion for it no more. So I'm not going to speak on any particular time frame. but this individual, yes, has spent many years, um, you know, almost 20 years in what they were doing. I'd say that, and they wanted to start something new. Okay. Um, and they put plenty of money away, okay? And uh, at the same time, you know, when they were still working, they were trying to educate themselves as well, all right? But the problem is, like I always tell and speak on, is that, you know, trying to find a, a great mentor, a great trading program or course that you can find out there, it's hard to do because, you know, there's so much of that out there that's thrown in our face as far as ads and things that it looks appetizing or appealing, but you know who really wants to throw their money away and 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 really unsure of if you know those type of courses or people that claim to be gurus or mentors are really going to pan out and work out to where you have invested so much money and maybe you're not getting anything back out of it you know i, I hear stories about this time and time again okay and that's what this person had done you know they had money set to the side they um, thought they had found someone that was going to work in their favor as far as being able to, to show them the correct way how to trade. Um, and they spent, I'm not going to say, you know, just a couple hundred dollars. They spent thousands of dollars into this program. Thousands, okay? Um, and I'm not going to speak on any particular program because there are tons of them out there that I'm sure are just not worthy, okay? So you have to do your due diligence and do your homework accordingly. Um, so they took a percentage of the money they had in their 
savings or funded or account. I'm not gonna say funded account, but their account that they were putting away to start trading when they were ready. And they had pretty much um, spent mo about half of that in just courses that they thought that would aid them and teach them the correct way to trade. Right? Well, they didn't learn anything. You know, they actually lost everything um, in which they had saved. Okay, because here's the problem. People fail to really do their homework as far as back testing and then forward testing. I speak on that, okay? Because you have to honestly see if the strategy is going to work for you or not. You know, someone else throwing percentages out there to you in a course and showing you uh, particular setups or a strategy, and you know they're just throwing percentages out there to you and showing you examples. That's not the answer. The answer is doing your own homework to see, you know how profitable or what the win to loss ratio is going to be you know you have to be able to see that something that allows you to win 50 percent of the time i said this before that's not a good 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 uh, trading strategy or maybe even a trading plan that someone's trying to sell you um but you know it's, it's hard to really speak upon every particular strategy because sometimes it's the person Maybe they're not executing the strategy correctly, all right? And maybe they're not taking the, using the strategy um, based surrounding certain setups, you know? Um, and I speak on that when I say you have to be patient and wait for the right things to unfold. But this individual did. Um, they thought they had learned the correct way. They, ended, they started to go from demo trading into live trading and they blew their account okay several thousands of dollars i'll say that okay it was it was a, a nice amount of money all right um and so what they did was they started over from scratch they did the same thing again they end up building an account up okay putting the money into savings they went about it a different route this time okay all right and so they went out this time to actually find a mentor okay and again i, I said there's so many girls out there that you know that you can pay to become a mentor and uh, they gave this individual an x amount of money and the same thing happened um they thought they learned a program or a a system that worked the wool was pulled over their eyes they wanted to test it um and use it to trade live with and they blew an account again see people struggle with that daily all right blowing accounts they turn to these funding funding or prop firms as well, and they continuously uh, have a, a are in a cycle to where they are um, not being able to pay, uh, pass those uh, evaluations. You know, me don't please don't even ask me that, guys. So many people ask me that all the time. I do not and will never um, take a um, or buy into any of the prop firms out there. It's just not me. I'm not speaking ill or bad towards any of them because I do not know the ins and outs about any of them. But I feel more comfortable trading with my own funds okay so if that's you and you do trade uh using prop firm money um then that's okay you know as i say i'm not here to tell people what to do and how to do it i'm just here to show you the way i trade okay and not for you to follow me in any kind of way all right i'm just here to show you what works for me put it out there and uh, maybe inspire others okay at the same time but again going back to what i was speaking upon earlier about this individual uh, the question was posed or raised, you know, what do I do now? Should I go back and start a new job because they now are already burnt out from the job they were at before? Um, or do they go back into the, you know, to, to back to the same job or into a similar field? Look, first and foremost, every person has to make that own decision. OK, um, and yes, it makes me feel bad to hear uh, someone or know of someone that um, wasn't successful in trading because trading is really not that hard guys it's more simple than anything it's just you have to it's all about being logical looking at what's going on let the charts tell you the story what's unfolding and you have to be able to see that and a lot of people you know I, I I use the analogy and I've said this in the past it's like looking at a fine piece of art you know and to some people's eyes they may not be able to see the beauty in it or what that what that the art um represent that piece represents okay so if you do not have any interest in it you can be like ah that's not for me so you don't know what it stands for the same thing with what goes on with these charts you know 
They are painting a picture for us as traders to be able to read, and we have to be able to do so correctly, all right, or we will get flushed out of the market and railroad, okay? So in speaking with that individual, um, you know, what I recommended them to do was to, um, if they're really gun ho about wanting to get into trading, and yes, at this time, they are currently working and, and, and back into the career force um, and making money again, but they still have interest in trading. That's the craziest thing. You know, they lost a lot of money, but they're still interested. And everybody has their own cup of tea. I would say that, you know, we all have to pick our poison, right? And trading can be, you know, can be hard to some people and easier to others. I'll say that. Um, but to me, it's simplistic because I've been doing it long enough and I know what to look for. And, um, you know, if something doesn't work out, I get out of it quick enough so that it doesn't, you know, so I'm not taking any drawdown or, you know, um, you know, taking too much heat on it, I say, okay? But they want to get back into trading. I told them that, you know, build their account up. I talked to them about the 10 time, the margin uh, size or amount. Um, you know, I gave them um, suggestions and ideas about what markets to trade to kind of even build their account up. You know, not so much having to just take all their money and put it into an, into an account to start saving, uh, but to slowly take bits and pieces once they get to the point and know how to trade correctly. Take bits and pieces that they can cover into an account or put or for, for a funded purpose. And then, for instance, like trade the micros and then build their account up that way. Okay. So that way they're not having to leverage so much personal money into the market. You know, they can take a little bit of money and, and try to get it to grow. All right. And it's possible. It's very possible. And you guys out there that trade the micros know that it is. Okay. Because yes, the micros trade at a small tick value. But guess what? Look, you don't take on as much risk, neither do you. Okay, because you don't have a lot on the line. Your hopes are to be able to build an increments with that small amount of money or, you know, tick by tick. Okay, so I'm just here to let you guys know that if anyone's out there that finds themselves in that situation and you're so passionate, and very passionate about doing so, then keep the passion fueled. Keep doing it. Don't give up. All right. Um, I, I personally don't want to see anybody quit uh, trading, but you have to make that personal choice for yourself, you know. Um, you know, me personally, if I lost, I can't even put a number on the amount of money, but if it was a significant amount of money, I could imagine I probably would step away from the markets for a while, take a break, um, whether it be two weeks or a year, maybe six months. I probably won't go a year because I would, you know, probably about, I probably would forget just about everything I learned, you know, and then have to retrain my mind again. But I'll take some time off to really see if this is what I truly need to do and still passionate about on the inside or find something else with my life to do, right? But I just wanted to share that share that with you guys because I know a lot of people out there are had that question. Uh, should I quit trading or should I just stick it out? You know, you have to make that that choice yourself. But, anyways, I just want to share that with you. Uh, maybe it uh, hits hits home to a lot of you out there that are on the Discord community or part of are also subscribers here on the channel. Um, so maybe that 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 story sheds some light and and, and makes you feel a little bit better that. Um, you know, if this individual is still passionate about doing it and they've lost, you know, get a, a good chunk of money. Um, but now I will say this now, um, you know, they are tuned into kind of what I'm doing, you know, in a sense. Um, they have their own little strategy and, 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 you know, that they picked up along the way that um, works for them. You know, if whatever works for you, like I always say, you know, stick with it. But I've shared things with them and showed them. Um, Things like I do here in this channel here that they they are as well as interested too and in, in, in incorporating that into a trading plan themselves. So, hey, again, you know you don't have to follow someone else. You can make things your own. So understand that as well. But that's all I want to share with you guys today. If you're interested and you're not a current subscriber, please take the time to go ahead and click on that sub button down below. Turn your post notifications on so you never miss one of the uploads here on the channel. Please drop, drop a like on the video. Interested in joining our Discord? Find the link down in the description portion of the video. Click on it and invite yourself in. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you tomorrow in another trading day. Well, tomorrow is Friday, guys. I may not be trading tomorrow. I got a few things lined up, but we'll see. I may trade in the afternoon or may trade in the morning, by, you know, one or the other. We'll see. But anyways, if you do not see me on the Discord, guys, I am away from my charts, okay? But I'm always close by and watching on Discord. Just remember that. Take care. I'll see everyone in the next video.